Alrighty, so hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Diamond. Um, so today, as you could probably tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about fragrances and some of my favorite luxury fragrances. So let's get into it. Um so number one, oh, and before we even get into the talk, just in case you have any questions or want to know what I'm drinking, this is um a venti iced chai tea latte. I just picked it up, so it's bomb as fuck. You don't want to drink it, period. So, anyways, back to back to what we came here for, the fragrances. So this here is the number one fragrance on the list this is my all-time favorite perfume um this is from dior it's the miss dior um eau de parfum this is the not the new version that they have like out on the market it's um the one before that uh i personally like prefer the this version compared to the new one it's like the I want to say this is like a very sweet scent. It's very sweet and powdery type of um, scent. Like this is my favorite scent of all time. Like I get the most compliments every single time like I wear this perfume. So you can't go wrong with this. Um, unfortunately, you guys won't be able to get it because of course they're not really selling it anymore. But the new one is good too and it's similar but not really this. But you'd still get, you know, like a nice like smell it's just not this one <laughs> but anyways moving on i'm going to be talking about my second favorite um luxury perfume that is also from dior so i recently just got this for christmas um so this is hypnotic poison um by dior this is like this is just it you know it's just it period like i've this i haven't worn that much of course i just got it but the times i have let other people try it or smell it like they fall in love like this is one of those things or those fragrances that you just have to wear like it's an eau de toilette it's not an eau de parfum like um miss dior and yeah like it's not like a eau de parfum like miss dior but and i usually never do eau de toilette but this one i don't know like it's just it's just giving like it's not too odor overpowering like most um eau de parfums so it or eau de toilette so it works for me and i love it so much like this is like damn near becoming my new favorite like i kid you not i'm trying to be really really stingy with it but i might have to like use this whole thing or you know just really go off one day and just you know just finish the whole thing because it's just too good and ha everyone has to smell it period <laughs> but anyways and i'm also going to be talking about so this perfume so a lot of you guys know this perfume it's very popular i would say um this is uh good girl by carolina herrera uh this fragrance <laughs> It's a very funny story I have to tell one day. Maybe I'll tell the story one day about this fragrance and like why it's so... It's just a really funny story behind it. We're going to get into that another time. But this is a pretty sexy smell, okay? I personally think that every perfume that I wear is sexy, but this is like sig it's like a signature type of... um like a sexy smell and it's very strong so it'll last like pretty much the whole day i think um yeah and it's not like it's a like it's a sweet scent like i don't know they just really did a really good job with this um yeah like it's not too crazy overpowering but if you do put on too much like it can you know be a little much but yeah if you put on just the right amount say you're going out like on a date or something i'd recommend this type of fragrance like if you're gonna go this and also the hypnotic poison um from dior i'd recommend if you're trying to you know do something subtle and cute this if you're really trying to be seductive <laughs> then this would definitely be your best friend like on a first date or any date really 
okay and then also speaking of dates like this one i highly 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 recommend like it's similar to this in a sense where it's just like this is something you want to put on when you're trying to be sexy or you know but it's not okay this is a mixture of like sexy and sweet like it's not too um like sexy like this and it has a little sweetness to it like a really like a nice little candy type of smell to it so <sighs> this works too if you're gonna go on a first date i feel like any perfume that has anything associated with legs at this point is just something you want to put on when you're trying to be sexy you know so yeah this is like the top four now we're gonna be moving into the rest of fragrances that i have okay so the other one number five la vie a belle by lancome this fragrance is just such a beauty like she is so sweet so cute it's like a cute smell not really a sexy smell i would say yeah like this is a nice little it's not a bubble gum i would say but it's just a really like teeny um fragrance like it's very innocent and sweet nothing too crazy and sexy i would say it's just really nice and sweet and eerie in my opinion um yeah as you could probably tell i really overdo it <laughs> like this is the type of fragrance i'd wear like on a day-to-day -day. like if i'm going to work i'd put this on um yeah that's pretty much it so most of the time i'm just going to work anyways so this is what i have on like i'm wearing and i get a lot of compliments when i put this fragrance on just like how when i put on the miss dior eau de parfum a lot of compliments on this one okay and then we're gonna move on to this is burberry um brit by brit um from burberry yeah so this one i got from my mom um as a gift i don't remember when she gave me this but of course like it's a very i'm pretty sure this is an eau de toilette so it is not like it's kind of strong like it's not a sweet smell as well well it does have a little sweetness to it but it for the most part it's more of a fresh scent in my opinion yeah like it's more of a fresh scent um so this is for a day when you're trying to like you're going out um like anything work related when it comes on to stuff like this i would say this is like for a business you're doing some type of business you know what i mean and not trying to be all sexy and cute and stuff like this is what you'd put on <sighs> it is really really good but of course it's more of a fresh scent um personally like as you could tell with the rest of my collection it's more sweet that i try to do okay but this is good too and it works well if you're not trying to do too sweet um and still be boss boss type of then i'd say this scent and then now for a pretty good one so this is um this is what is this <laughs> this is um joe malone mirror and tonka so this scent like i so recently my mom's friend um put us on joe malone like we went to Saks a while back back and then it was just um she was just like oh yeah let's try you know the joe malone stuff whatever whatever and then we tried it and it was so like my mom's been addicted to joe malone ever since so we um so this is the mirror and tonka like it's a cologne intense so it's not like feminine like i don't okay it has a little feminine vibe to it but it's not like a sweet scent like um the rest of the you know the top four of my collection like this is something it has a nice scent to it where it's um it's it is very much intense and it's more of a cologne as it says in the title but it's um it's not like something feminine feminine but fem females can obviously wear it but it's just it's something that is very grab it, it grab it once you smell it it's like you want to keep on smelling it you know what i mean like it's an unusual scent and not in a bad way it's not an odor but like an unusual fragrance where you're intrigued to know like what more about it or hear about it so this is um Jo Malone Marin Tonka when it comes on to how where I would wear it once again just like the unusual sense like Burberry 
Um, I would say I would wear it to anything business related, like if you're gonna go on, go to a meeting or something like that, or even a day to day, really, you can get away with it. But yeah, I'd say mostly for business, if you're really trying to be taken seriously. Yeah. <laughs> So this is Mirin Tonka from Joe Malone. Okay, next one. Oh, now we're gonna get more into the Bois fragrances. So this one, as you could tell, like I've had it for a while and it's on its last leg right now, period. I'm gonna have to get some more. So this is from Chanel, it's um, Gabrielle. Uh, this one here, like, um, let me see. This was like my very first luxury fragrance that I've ever bought, period. I got this when I was like 17 or 18. Like, it's been a while. Like, I've had this for a very long time. It's just that I've, you know, kind of expanded my horizon when it comes on to scents, why I kind of neglected it for a, a while. But this was my very first one, like my very first luxury scent. I never replaced it because I just feel like it's just important. You know what I mean? Like, I bought Dior, like the Miss Dior the eau de parfum like five different times probably you know what i mean um until now this is like the last bottle so i'm very um you know careful with it i don't overdo it but for the chanel gabrielle i kind of just cherish this one because um i remember so when i was getting this perfume like i was so i never knew like fragrances or luxury fragrances were that much i kid you not i did not know I had never purchased no luxury fragrance, okay, in my little 17, 18 year old life. I was usually getting like, you know, Bath and Body Works, like Victoria's Secret type stuff and spray, spray, spray. And then I remember I went to the bay one day and then I was just, you know, kind of just prancing around. And I asked the lady, like I smelled this and I was like, ooh, like I want to smell like that. Um, I asked the lady like how much it was and then she was just like, oh, I think she said like, 150 or something like that and i'm like what in the world what in the world <laughs> what in the world girl what <laughs> i did not spend that much on perfumes ever in my life okay um so i literally called my mom like right after and i'm like um mommy like she said it was 150 for the perfume like is this is this true like i I was just like, no, like, there's just no way this little bottle is $150 per. But my mom was just like, yeah, like, what in the world? Like, it's Chanel. Like, what do you expect? You know, I'm like, uh, okay, well, I really like it. So, yeah, and I really liked it. And my mom confirmed that perfumes really do co cost this much. So I'm like, okay, like, whatever, I'll buy it. So I literally picked this up and I've been cherishing it ever since. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna get another one of these. I really don't know. This is one of my boss, boss bitch type of scents. <laughs> so honestly, like I don't know if I'm gonna replace it <sighs> because I mostly do, you know, sweet smells. This at the time was a very, it's a stepping stone for me, I would say. Oof, but it does have a really nice smell though. It really does. I think I'm gonna get another one. Like sometimes you wanna have that little boss bitch like type of scent. You know what I mean? It's not always about being sweet and sexy. It's always a gotta have these type of scents too. So there's that. Um, what else did I wanna go over? Ooh. So yes, this is another one. So one bottle is like empty. This is my little travel size set that I got from Sephora. So this is the Victor and Ralph um flower bomb it's pretty much like the title girl like it's flowery like it's floral like floral period that's it so sweet honestly like i don't even think this is a sexy scent it's more so sweet and cute you know like this is something that i would i was wearing like on a day-to-day -day. like it's like damn done but this was something i was wearing on a day-to-day -day. um yeah so just sweet just sweet flowery type of nothing crazy just like the um la vie a bell right um so there's that uh and then they also gave me this so i tried 
so this is the blooming bouquet from miss dior like this was just so i could try it when i was buying i think this and i bought this in october like for my birthday and look how far down it is like that's just crazy i have to s slow down with this one but anyways yeah when i bought this they gave me this little travel thingy to try it's blooming bouquet from miss dior um whew. it's a vibe i will tell you that like it's a vibe it's not really my vibe but it's definitely a nice scent like it's more it's a mixture of okay you see from everything that i've spoken about um there's either sweet or sexy or you have the more like cur type of <laughs> sense where it's just really strong and just you know it makes a statement i feel like as much as i this is probably not something i would do on a regular basis this is a mixture of both of those ideas the sweet and sexy and also the strong and intense it's not even too strong really it's just kind of a like a fresh scent so it's a mixture between fresh and sweet it's weird i like it but it's not really for me um but yeah it's really nice to have just to kind of you know just chill out like on my thingy my little cup thingy there this it looks really cute but it is still a good scent so if you are like in the bay or wherever you're going to buy your fragrances I would definitely suggest this um, to at least try it and see if that's something more of your speed. It's not bad. Um, it is pretty good. Um, it's just not really something I do. I kind of just have this little bottle and thought, you know, it would be a good idea to talk about it. Okay. So yeah, that's that. And that pretty much covers like literally every single fragrance that I use. Um, currently what I have on right now, as much as you can't smell me, is I have on this, as much as I'm not going out anywhere really, like, this is just a really cute scent to put on, even though I'm not dressed up and feeling all sexy right now, I'm literally in a hoodie, okay, hoodie, hair is not done, like, you know, this is still something you want to put on just to feel cute, um, yeah, last night I was wearing this one. It's funny enough, like, I have to tell this story. Anyways, I'm gonna, and then this one is my new baby. I'm not gonna overdo it with her. Neither will I, I can't overdo it with this one because they're not replacing the same scent. They have the new one that I'm, I'm I like this one more. So, there's that. That's pretty much it for my fragrances, guys. Um, so, yeah. If you guys can hear, my family is just being a little er uh, right now, just irritating, but that's a whole nother story. Um, yeah. Like, I really want to start doing my, to pretty much just to change the topic a little bit, I really want to start doing my YouTube videos a lot more often. So if you are watching this and you want to, like, suggest anything that you'd like to see me do, like, I would do it, period. So just let me know and then I'll literally do it um yeah and that pretty much just covers that like i just want to pretty much um just kind of go over things that i care about and i'm interested in you know that's pretty much all i want to do um yeah like kind of just giving my outlook on things that i do in my life and yes yeah, like we're approaching a new year i think this is gonna be the um can you please get out? You see me making a video. <laughs> like, <laughs> get out, little. Love you. Little. You love that? Yes. Love you. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're approaching a new year. And I feel like everyone is pretty much on the same page where it's just like hey we have to do better like with every new year this is how people get i get it but i feel like this time a lot of people that i know are like are really on their stuff and you know what i mean they're gonna get it together and i believe in everyone and i just personally for me like i just want to share my journey like starting from now with where i am at um when it comes on to my youtube stuff and this type of thing like I've always you know wanted to do these videos and stuff I've always always wanted to do the videos but like I just never really made the time 
you know what I mean? Or And then I, sometimes I'd get really insecure about it and then like I wouldn't, you know, feel up for doing the videos and stuff. Just being really stupid. So now I'm kind of getting out of that slowly but surely, surely like I'm wiggling out of that type of mindset, you know what I mean? And, you know, I feel like as much as it took me a while to get to this point, like, I'm just enjoying the journey as I go along because what in the world, like, it is what it is. Like, I'm living and I'm learning and I'm going on. We move on. We move forward. We move past things that, you know, don't serve us. <laughs> yeah, so I just want to be my best self at this point and I'm just trying to share, like, everything that I know and I've experienced so that you know i could start building my own platform my own like my own lane pretty much for things that i like to do uh yeah and then also i know i'm talking a lot i'm like rambling on but when it comes on to music that's initially what i started my youtube for i am still singing i am um i feel like doing the covers are a little it's like a little redundant i can't even lie i will still do covers don't sleep i will still do them but only when i feel like it and then on top of that i will i think for me as an artist like i need to make my own songs you know what i mean have my own music and in due time that will happen um and then we'll take it from there but right now i'm just in like, learning how to get into the groove of being self-sufficient and you know working through all the insecurities and in my you know just working through a lot of personal stuff that i'm going through and then once i do that then we'll you guys will see everything else that i have in store that god has in store for me um but yes like this is just with time like i'm pacing myself i'm not in any rush I never been one to compete with anyone. I'm just in my own little zone. So I am taking this one day at a time, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, I really hope you guys like the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe, please and thank you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you can see whenever I post. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Bye.